I'm going to call this uh, using Photoshop to create plans for an RC airplane. So I have Photoshop open here. First thing we want to do, we have to open up a new project. So we click on File, drop down to New, click on New, and that's going to open up a dialog box. And here we have what we want to name it. Type in here what you want to name this file. The width, I'm going to go with 125. Height, I'm going to go with 90 inches high. The resolution, we're going to go with 150 pixels per inch. Uh, don't need to be that big, so 150 will be fine. We we'll use color mode RGB. We want to do inches on the right hand side, pixels per inch. White background, square pixels. Click OK. And there we have our workspace. Now you can see on the top I have a, a ruler going across. And on the left hand side, we got a ruler going down. And you just want to make sure that's visible by clicking on view and make sure rulers is checked. So if I ch check it, it turns it off. So turn it back on. Just make sure you have a check next to it. This is going to come in handy big time when we start making our uh, guidelines and our three view drawings. Now over to the right hand side, this is where we're going to have layers should show up that we're working with. Everything we do will show up here on this right hand side, lower level. So the first thing, let's uh, go over a few things. To bring in the guideline, you just simply grab on the ruler left hand side or top and you just drag right over to our workspace. Just let go, and there we have a guideline. You could change the color of these guidelines. Uh, I have mine set to blue. You just uh, click on it again, hit control, click on it, and drag it. Drag the top down. There we have two guidelines. So we'll be using guidelines quite often throughout this project. Now I'm just going to drag this close to the edge. Now where these guidelines meet here in the Point, I want to reset my rulers so that the zero point on my rulers match up to these two guidelines. So if I zoom in, I have my mouse set up so that the wheel is a zoom in tool. And if you just click the space bar, you can drag the image all around if you hold space down. All right, so at the top, you can see it's lined up to 10 inches, and we'll just make this lined up to six inches here for now. So to set this intersection to zero on the left and zero on the top, I'm just going to go up to the top hand corner here. And when the icon turns to a little arrow, I'm just going to click and drag. I'll just drag this down to where the intersections meet. And then we'll let go. And you'll see it'll change the top to the zero and the left to zero. So now we got a zero ruler mark where these Two guidelines meet up. So now if I know I'm going to have a uh, say 50 inch wingspan, I'm going to come down and, and uh, to the left hand side where the 50 inch mark is and put another guideline. And I know that's the wingspan I want to work with. And there we have two guidelines going horizontally. And so my top view drawing of the schematics, I'm just going to make sure we fit within this guidelines. All right, so here I have my schematics that I'm going to use. I like this one here because it's got uh, several different views here. It's got the front view, pretty nice front view, side view with the gear down, the canopy up. It's got a rear view, which will come in handy when we do the tail end section. And the side view here from the other angle, canopy down, gear up. It's got a nice bottom view. And the top view. And what a bonus feature here, it's got these uh, cutaway bulkheads at certain locations throughout the fuselage, which will come in handy. Even there on the right hand side, that's 
file. We can reverse them in Photoshop if we need to. I do have a second drawing, which I like better, uh, because if you look at the fuselage front, it's got the center line uh, right above that little nose cone, and then the tail section, it's got another line, and that's the center line of the wing and fuselage. And it's got the bulkheads as well. So we're going to incorporate both of these drawings into the design of the F-16. All right, to bring in the three view schematic, which is going to open up our file. There it is, shows up. Now, in order to get it into the work file we're working on, we're just going to drag it down over top of the work file we're working with. And then you want to select on your keyboard the move tool, which is V, V for Victor. Uh, and that's going to be the top icon on the left hand side, top tool. Then we just hold shift and click on this image and drag it right over to our workspace. And there we see it. Now, we don't need the original file here. We could either close it out or reduce it. So there we have our <coughs> image that we're going to work with. So we need to resize it to the wingspan that we would like to have set up. Okay, once we have our guidelines set for the width of the wingspan, in order to enlarge this to fit it in, you just hit Control T, and to the far right, you wanna make sure that's the layer we're working with, and hit Control T, and just drag the corner by holding shift so it stays in, in perspective from width and height. Drag it until we get our wingspan to fit within that, within the two guidelines that we set up for our wingspan. And just click on it and move it and then go back to the corner and drag it. Every time you want to drag the size of it, just make sure you hold the shift key down so it keeps it in perspective. Yeah, we're almost there. And that's pretty good. And I just hit enter once it's all lined up and then it will, the image will look sharper than once after you hit enter because it's resizing it. And there we have it. If I zoom in, I can see how close I am. So that's pretty good. Okay, so now we just want to confirm that our schematic is perfectly level. So I'm just going to drag a guideline down here at the top of the top view. And we just want to make sure that the nose matches up on that guideline along with the center line of the fuselage. We can zoom in and take a look, see where it matches. And if it needs to be tilted or whatever, you can see it's just a little bit off. So to get that to match up, if we're just hit Control T and brings up the image, then we can just kind of tilt it from the bottom, one of the middle points or the corner, or you can even go up to the angle box up here and just put in increments, or even just use your up and down mouse or up and down arrow keys you can. Uh, Shift it just a little bit. And you can zoom in while you do that and make sure it's all lined up straight on that guideline line. And just hit enter. And once you have it straight, you're good to go. All right, once we got it level, next thing to do is cut apart this uh, schematics. And to do that, we're going to select a polygonal lasso tool. And what we'll do is just take this front view. And we're just gonna click once and you'll see us start drawing a line at every point we click again 
and drag, click, drag, click, drag, and just go all the way around. And once we meet up where we started, it'll change and then click. That's gonna have like a dash line around. And then we're gonna just right click and we are going to layer via copy. If you notice to the right hand side under our layers, it'll make a new layer. And we'll go over, double click that layer and we can rename it. Front view schematic. If you click on these eyes, it'll make those layers disappear. So you can see just the front view. So now we can just select the move tool and move it down. And eventually we're gonna line that up with the side view. And that's where guidelines will come in handy. And set some guidelines. And once you get the front view lined up with the side view, you cut apart the rest of the original schematic and match them all up. 